Welcome, welcome. We're sorry we're late. We had a little, little, little things happen when you're trying to do things live. We're sorry about the inconvenience. Welcome to Ecological City. Rosa, you can take it from here. I got to be running around doing stuff, so bear with me. I'll be right back. Go. Hello everyone, um, this is um, Earth Celebrations Ecological City and today um, we are going to um, finish off telling you, um, last week we were talking about um, the process of when we're doing the, the resist on the, on the strips that we were doing and so um, let me just say first of all, um, first of all I'm sorry, I apologize for, for us being late. We were having a family situation that we had to take care of, and um, we were on the phone for a while trying to help somebody, and that is why we were not on the phone when we were supposed to. So going through a little stress with some issues, but we're gonna try to do our best to come to you here today. And um, in regards to what's going on today in this world with the COVID-19, um, we're hoping and praying that we can be here next week to do this live. Because what's going on is, um, I live in Brooklyn and I'm traveling to the Bronx to Pete's house to do these workshops. And sometimes in the train, I came with masks and gloves, of course, over here. But um, when you're in the train, it's a lot of people in the train sometimes. And it becomes a little stressful because we keep seeing so much negative stuff on TV. And we're not sure in regards to if we can become infected or not. Um, I have a big faith in God, and every time I leave my house, I always tell God, please, wherever I go, be with me and be with other people around us to make sure that they're safe. But sometimes things happen. Maybe they're lessons that they're, they're given to us in our life. Maybe they're not. But um, we're going to try our best to um, do these workshops with you guys as much as we can. But things will happen. Sometimes Pete's mom, she's 95 years old, and there's things going on with her health, and we have to run back and forth to help her out also. And it's a lot of stress on both of us. And um, so okay. with a lot of prayer and faith, uh, um, we're here, and we're going to try to do our best and, and with our clear mind to try to um, let us show you what we're trying to do in this last month of um, the climate solution the Earth Celebration Climate Solution. Oh, are we? Um, Hi, Lucrecia. Hi, Lucrecia. Um, so basically, some people, this, there's some, um, our celebration from um, Ecological City is a climate solution project that we're gonna do hopefully into to the middle of May. I don't know if uh, um, Felicia Young is our director and she's going to, um, I guess we're going to zoom everything and do some kind of creative um, pageant uh, with the zoom and, and videos and everything um, when this when we finish doing the costumes and um, yeah like no but, that's gonna go but um we're gonna we're working on this day by day and uh, so yeah and so the thing is that sometimes when we work in groups like that since we were used to working in groups with volunteers and stuff um, we miss a lot of the help that we had for the volunteers and sometimes when you're doing more work um, and you're under a lot of stress it becomes a little bit hard to do the, the projects but um, we're trying our best to do what we have to do and trying to keep our, our, our mind clear and um, so um, but thank you Lucrecia Novoa is our, our puppet, puppet puppeteer um, artist and she does the, the workshops on Saturdays some was doing the classes on Saturdays from 12 to 4 but now she's gonna be doing her workshop from 12 to 1 um, on live streaming and um, also Michelle when we finish at 7 o'clock she's gonna be showing you what she's doing and um, so basically um, my paper is all crazy of course I write a lot of notes and stuff but these are the strips of the sustainable development goals that eventually we're gonna finish doing and showing with you guys. So, God willing, God willing, every um, important part. <laughs> Michelle Brody, which is our instructor that's teaching us, this is her costume. Yeah. And um, she already has the headpiece. These are the colors for the headpiece. 
And when we finish the workshop, she's going to show you how she's doing it. And it looks amazing already. I already saw her um, doing it. And she's going to come right after us. But um, we're working on the strips. So um, going back and forth with, with things that we've been doing and also with family issues, some of the strips that we have already dyed are on the wall. Um, Pedro, yeah. just point over this so they can see. Here they go. As you see, this way, over here on the wall, we've got a couple of pieces, different, different shades. And um, what Rose is trying to do now is blend colors that will match as close as they can get to the colors that she has to put on the paper, on the, on the material. The silk material. And the silk material. So, with that being said, we are, we're already out of, we're already out of this one. So, it's like very little. We need more green. Um, yeah, so, what she's doing is um, dyeing the, the silk. So, that's the process. So the, the name of the, the silk or dye we're using is Dyna, Dyna Flow. And, um... Dino flow, yeah. And Michelle, if you're there <coughs> later on, I just want to let you know this is the only resist we have left. We that's need more resist. The, that's the last of it. <laughs> and we still have three more that we have to finish off. So I'm going to try to stretch it, but if not, then we're going to have to try to meet with you so you could give us more resist so we could finish okay. the other ones that we haven't done. So I'm going to jump in now. Um, I'm right now, I, I took one piece and I rolled it up in paper, newspaper. Rolled it up newspaper and I have it steaming in uh, on the stove I have it steaming in the pot in the steamer so so that the, the colors get embedded it'll so stay in and it won't come off when you wash it um, after that's done I'll take it out I'll let it dry and then I have to iron it um, I'm gonna roll up another piece to have it set for later so you get the idea of what I'm doing as far as steaming and I'll show you the, the pot in a little bit okay. Hi, Lucrecia. Um, hola. Okay. Um, yo, I'm a little distracted because I found something out. Every time I come here to do something positive, if it wasn't for Rosa, I would be going up a wall. Anything could have been happening. Um, the grace of God, that's how I keep my, my focus. Um, this virus is really hitting people. And... Long story short, I found my granddaughter, which I love so much. We just found out. Um, so that's going to back my mind, regardless. Uh, we're going to put that to the side. But that being said, um, this will keep my focus and it'll help me through this little thing, this COVID-19. Um, I'll keep away from that. It, this, this will keep me focused. This is why I love these classes. I love to come to these, to these uh, little groups and do these things, and I miss the group so much, right? This is why I do it. I enjoy it. I love it. So I think Rosa has something to say. Let me shut up. <laughs> mm -hmm. no? um, if the steam is ready, the, the, in the pot, what do you think? I got, uh, no, I got about another two minutes. Get about two more minutes. You have it low. Is that how yeah. it's supposed to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want it to get so wet. what we are hoping to, and uh, he, he already has the, for example, this is one that I have here that has the resist on it, which is this, the resist, and the resist that we showed you last week, basically we, we put it on the, the silk material and it shows you the name of the letters, so what it does is, when we're doing the resist, it's basically um, blocking off the area where we want the lettuce to be white after we dye it. It's a barrier. So, if you see right here, later on, after we, do the, after we dye this, and then um, Pete has one as an example. He's doing it right now. He has it steaming. And um, I think yeah. he took it out right now. Yeah. So it's see that? You see that steam? Can you, can you see that steam? <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah. So he had one that we dyed, and he had steaming for 20 minutes, like Michelle told us. Michelle, we steamed it for you. We took it out of the pot right now. So after he steams it, then, hold on. Yeah. Let me take the sorry. Yeah, I'm going to bring it down some so you can see what I'm doing. After he steams it, he's supposed to wash off the resist that's already on the, the dyed um, silk um, strip. Yeah. And... The resist is going to 
peel off. So once the resist peels off, that was blocking the area where you want it to come out white. And once it peels off, then the area will be white because it was blocking the, the, the dye when it was dyed. And so if you notice that we have um, one here that he has dyed, and we dyed already, yeah. so and he has the... Now I'm going to go wash it. I'm going to wash it off. Yeah. So this way... Uh, she said hot water, not okay. With warm water. She uh, said hot, hot. I wash it with with, uh, with warm water. It'll come right off, okay. and uh, the piece where you see dark, it'll be white. Yeah, so. and it'll it'll look like what we have here. If you notice, so this is what the piece you're gonna rinse now. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this stuff over okay. here. But well, you can do it quick in the bathroom. Come back. So he's gonna rinse the 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 resist off. He already steamed it for 20 minutes in the pot, and so he's gonna rinse it out. And when we rinsed it out after it was steamed with the hot water, he's going to, it's going to look like this. It's going to look like this, the letters. So you see the white? So the white over here was what, what I used before with the resist. So everything that I put resist on, on the area that was supposed to, where the letters were supposed to be, then it became white when he cleaned when he cleaned it out. So these are some of the ones that we have already done on the water. You see some of the colors, but the ones that are over there, these are the four. We haven't steamed them yet. We're gonna do them um, later on today. And um, and Michelle, if you're there, this is the last that I have of the, <laughs> the last that I have of the resist. That's all I have left. So I'm gonna try to stretch it. If not, then we're gonna have to. Meet up with you so you can give us uh, a little bit more resist so we can finish. I think we have like three more in the room of the long strips that we have to put resist on. But I'm going to try to, so we're going to play with this before Saturday to see, if, you know, we can stretch this. If not, this is all I have left. Um, Pedro's getting some water in the bathroom so he can show, <laughs> so he can show you how he's going to be, um, he's going to take off the, the resist from the color that was steamed already. Um, hello, hello everybody, hi, hi Michelle, Lucrecia, we miss you guys, um, this has been a crazy, uh, busy March month, and, um, our celebrations, um, Ecological City is not the same without our volunteers, and, um, um, I think we had to remember this event for a long time, because it's not so much uh, the workshop of working with the people, but the absence of not working with people that mean a lot to us and that put a lot in this project, Felicia, Michelle, and, and, and Lucrecia. Um, and a lot of the volunteers, and Thomas, and Didi, and, and John, and um, they put a lot of hard work on this program. And, and so do we, and so, it's not the same thing, and I think when you're working around stress and, and, and when you go outside thinking what's going to happen, or God forbid some one of your family members might get this um, illness, it becomes a stress around you. And, and I've been working a lot with Pete to 4 o'clock in the morning because sometimes we're up because of stress and we can't sleep, so we just work because we're up. And um, But he's, um, he's putting the... So just to try to show you what yeah, you guys so doing, it's you coming, put it in the bucket. You see how dark it is here? It's dark here, but it's white here. It's coming off. You see how that's coming off? See how, how it looks white? So I got to get all this dark stuff to make it look like this. So I'm going to show you in a little, in a little while. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Yeah. Okay? Let me get a little more hot water. That'll be all right. I want to roll up another piece. So he's, he put it... See, we we put it in the bucket because we're trying to show you. Normally we would do it in the sink, yeah. and uh, but he's trying to show you guys. A little bit. Pull, pull, the, pull, the, pull the blue. Pull the blue. Ah, thank you. Watch it. Okay. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Nope. Enjoy yourself. We have it in the bucket. <laughs> That's the, we didn't have that one. We'd have to move the phone to the sink and yeah. go back and so forth. This way I have, right, I don't have to go to the sink. Just be careful you yeah. don't whip the other yeah, I got it. Tree, I got okay? It. I got it. Thank you. So what I'm doing now is uh, I, I just put more, a little more hot water in so that, so
so the stuff will come off much easier. But it's coming off as you can see. Uh, it looks pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. It's pretty good. I like the way it looks. So as you can see, it's coming apart. It's coming off. See that? See all this comes off. See that? The water helps a lot. If it wasn't for the water, I'd be still here. So anyway, um, while he's doing that, I hope that everybody else out there is um, doing well and being safe and trying to keep being home as much as possible. Mm, show and them. Um, hey, show them this. Huh? Show them this. Okay. The stance. You know what I got in the mail? Yeah, I know. But you know what I got today in the mail? I got the stamps. Um, I'm so I'm so glad I got them. But I'll show you them later on. <laughs> Yeah, so it's coming coming across. Look, it's coming across. See how it's coming out? See how it comes out? Look. You can see it. Where the white is, and then where the where the dark is. Keep rubbing the areas yeah. where they can see. Look. It'll come right off. See how it's coming off? Like this over here. So the it, part that you off. see white, that's why we put the resist. The resist when we put it on the on the dyed um, um strip, what it what it what it did was when we did it first on the white strip and we put the resist, it's a barrier. So when we dye it, the area that has the resist, the ink will not go through it. Albert, come here. Say hi to my, say hi to the crowd. I got my brother here today. Um, I was helping him out earlier. So this is my brother Albert. Hi everyone. Yeah, he's here. He's watching the show live. So he's enjoying himself. He's got the best seat. <laughs> yeah, so you see, I'll be here for a little while doing this. And at the, while I'm doing this, I'm going to put another piece in to steam so I can continue doing this. You see, as you can see, you see how it's coming across? See the white? And yeah, I'm taking off all this dark. All this stuff comes off. Look. See how that comes off? Comes off real easy. But nice. Not too hot, but hot water, but not too hot. Okay, so I'm gonna let it soak for a little bit. I'm gonna start the other one so I can put it to steam. And um, I'll continue with this one. Oh, this one, baby. Huh? Take the other one. Okay. The yellow? Yeah, I'm doing the yellow one. Well, I think you gotta keep finishing that. No, it's, it's getting done. It's huh? gonna get, get loose. It's, it's got to get loose on me. Because I, I want. Where's the? But I think you have to. Why did you finish? It's coming up. It's coming up good. It's coming wrong. Because the table's dirty. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You gotta dry it up. Thank you. Did you want to talk about the stamp? Yeah, I wanted to show you something. Um, Daniel, may you rest in peace. God bless him. Uh, I just got the stamps in the mail today. So I just wanted to um, show them. I want to, you know, share this with you. I was waiting for these. Um, caught me by surprise today. And I'm so happy I got them. I'm going to take them and hang them up. I'm not going to use them. I will not they, they don't know. Um, not everybody knows. Not every, um, yeah, they don't know There's know. another project that we're involved with, um, Garbaja. This was also part of Inside the Center. And recently we lost um, one of our artists, um, Daniel Pumal that he also taught me how to do paper mache and I ended up doing a, a turtle head of paper mache with Daniel and um, he he's not part of Ecological City. I think he, did he work with us at one time? At one time. Um, I'm not sure, but um, I know he wasn't, he's part of Garbage, another project that we do also, that we also recycle garbage and make art out of it. And a lot of the artists that are involved with um, Ecological City are part of Garbaja. And Garbaja is another uh, art project that um, we recycle art. And then at the end of the, the summer, we do a little, uh, like a little show of um, the importance of recycling um, our uh, the things that we use in the planet. Because if we do not recycle and reuse stuff, which is part of all the stuff that we're doing with the, the climate change art project here, um, we're going to have a, the... We are going to be in a situation in the planet that we're going to run out of resources 
if um like recently now that we have now the we don't we're not supposed to be using the plastic bags and it was banned so that's good because it helps and it saves the animals and and dolphins that are in the water um because all this becomes dumped and garbage in the in the river in the, the river in the water and a lot of the stuff that we're doing here with um, Ecological City is preventing all those plastic bags and straws that people throw in the water that a lot of the times uh, they don't know that when animals, um, like dolphins, those straws can get stuck in their nostril and the, the, the dolphin can die. And so um, the thing with garbage, uh, the similar as an art project, is that what the, we did a little show at the end of the um, summer and the, the, the project was showing that how are we going to survive in a world that we we don't take care of and if you notice what's going on right now with this virus and everything now everybody's going all crazy and 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 being inside their house and everything and at the same time since people are not using cars and everything the world is cleaning itself because we don't have all that pollution in the air and people using cars and airplanes in the air as much believe it or not the air is being cleaned Maybe the birds and the, and the wildlife is happy that we, we're locked up in the houses and they're probably <laughs> saying, you know what, this is time that they go in cages. I hate to say this, but that's the way it sounds. And, you know, we have a beautiful planet and we have to learn to take care of our planet because if we don't take care of our planet, where are we going to live? Okay. And um, so these are the stamps. Look how beautiful. This is an artist, um, Daniel Punao. That he taught me in Loisaida also how to do um, paper mache, um, that turtle that I made with the garbage, which was the turtle that became the mutant. He became, uh, um, she survived the dirty water that we polluted. That we polluted. And this became this amazing turtle that um, survived everything. And, and so this was a project from Rolando Politi, and they did these stamps from Danielle Polnau that he passed away recently of heart attack. And he was an amazing teacher and artist. I just want to show you the stamps. They made stamps yeah. of his face. And, and this is, I think it's a Melvin's picture, yeah, right? Yeah. I think it's a Melvin. From Melvin's camera. Melvin yeah. Lodas, um photograph. It's a He's, photographer, yeah. And photographer. so these are the stamps that were given to us. They made them, they gave it to us. As, I'm going to use keep this as collector's edition because um, he was a very special friend of ours. And... Um, I think they're beautiful. Look, this is recycled art bottles. They're called Echo Bricks. And it says United States of Garbaja and Danielle Ponau, um, Master Magician. But anyway, so I'm going to put this away. And thank you guys. All right, for getting watching. back to over here. So, okay. um, what's going on now is that, as you can see, I have all this, all this stuff came off. This is the stuff, the ugly stuff that comes off it. See that? That's the ugly stuff that comes off it. That's the glue and stuff. So, it's almost done. Okay? So, knowing, okay, I'm just showing you that this is what's going on. Which I'm taking off the glue and everything. It's coming off. So, when it gets, after I do this, that this gets done, right? I'll let it dry. Then I'll, I'll iron it. So, it's set in real good. So, this... It's what I do. Can you show them how you roll it? I take, oh, what I do is I take, as I was, uh, as she was talking, I showed you, I was showing you that, um, how I was rolling it up. Um, you take the piece and you put it inside the newspaper and you roll it up. You roll it up nice, not, you not roll it tight, not too loose either. Enough for it to get in there, enough to the steam get all over. So you take it, you wrap it up, and then this is going to go in, in the pot where I can steam it. It'll go in and I'll steam it. Be back. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I turned the, the phone. I thought you were going to go over there. No. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> this is the pot I use to steam the stuff. So as you can see, it's hot. The steam coming out of it, right? You can see. So what I do is I place this piece in here. Okay, I'll place it in here, it'll stay in there, I'll put it over there, let it get steamed up, about 20 minutes, I come back, we got another piece to do, I'll show you, I'll come back to this, yeah babe, see what's, okay so,
He's gonna steam another strip for 20 minutes. That's what we usually um, take to do. And it's 6:36, so probably before we finish the workshop, <laughs> before we finish the workshop, it'll be 20 minutes and we take it out. And um, so um, I'm not sure Michelle is there. Michelle, if you're there, can we strip more than one strip at the same time? Yes, or we're we supposed to do? No, yeah, we can do them. One do, at a yeah. time. No, we could do them. Are we, we supposed can. to strip do one put, strip at a time? I could put each row separately inside the pot and let it steam. Okay. Please, right, 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 Brody. I don't think she's there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think she's setting up for her workshop because it's already... Oh, yeah, that's right. She's set... Oh, okay. well, she's set up too. She don't answer this because yeah. she's setting up. It's yeah. okay. It's all um, good. Oh, it's 6.30, I think it's 6.37. Okay, so it's important. Michelle Brody's going to be doing her workshop after we finish, so it's important that you guys support her also because she's our main instructor, and um, she and, and Lucrezia have done such a, a amazing a, job with everything, with the designing the costumes. They did a job. They're oh beautiful. My God. They're beautiful. I and can't so, wait to see what it's going to look like. Um, um, Michelle, you there? I saw hi. I think she's there. Yeah? Okay. Yes, one per She said one per row, huh? No. One per row. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Because I wasn't sure. That's what we would, to make, yeah. keep it safe, we were doing one per row. One per row, because I don't want to, I don't want to mess anything I didn't up. want to the, the die or something else to go on yeah. another one. Okay, and I figured that it's easier because it goes direct on one, two, and, you know. Okay, so that's how we're doing it anyway, one parole. So. Yeah, we're doing it just like that. So he's cleaning off the rest of the, the, um, the resist off the strip. And it's almost done, right? Yeah. So I have another one here, another strip here that I'm going to dye. Since we got a couple of, I don't know, 15 minutes or whatever left. I'm going to dye this one so you guys can see. And um, hopefully, you think by next week, huh? The sewing? The sewing, uh, God permitting, yeah, I'll have this done. And by next week, we'll be sewing. So so yeah. we're hoping we're hoping that by okay. next week, we could get all the, the strips done. And we could, and Pete can start showing okay. you so the process of putting them together. What I want to do is, like, if, if next time when we do this and everything is done, I'll be filming most likely from my mother's because I have the big, the big machine over there. I have my small one here. I got my baby. I got Lucy right here. That's my baby. But I got the main one in my mother's, which is the one I want to use. So hopefully by next week, you'll see me putting the pieces together. Meantime, you can see her do the next color. I just wanted to tell her. Michelle, some of those strips are like different sizes, a little bit shorter yeah. or longer. What do I, we do? do look, we... look, Michelle. Look at the strips. If you're there, Michelle, you can see the sides. They're, all, the they're, short not, ones. they're not all the same ones. size. Put it closer as you can see it. See that? No, she can see from there. She can see from there. Okay. Can so put, she says she wrote, you can put more in the pot, but you cannot touch. What do you think? I know. I know. You have to leave them in the pot. I, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. <laughs> okay. I don't touch it until I take them out. Thank you. Okay. Remember, you're working with me. I never let you down. Yeah, so Rose is going to start working on another piece. Hopefully, she'll get it done. You know, it'll get done. And uh, We're going to do the majority of the other strips. We're going to do them on the weekend on Saturday. Yeah. And so to finish all the strips, and, and hopefully by next week, if we, if we can come out <laughs> to do this, and we don't have any more restrictions on... Um, transportation or going out, whatever the situation is, and there's no other stressors with the family, um, then we could probably try to sew that together, or, or should I say he's going to sew it together, because he's the master sewer, <laughs> and um, we could try to see what this is um, going to look like okay. um, all together. You want to see something? Okay. This is the piece we just finished. This is one of the pieces that we just finished. Look, uh, you can have to those cards. You see it? Turn it around so they can see the letter the yeah. other way. Hold that side. Backwards. Open it. Open it. 
so we can both open it so I can give it the whole oh, thing. Oh, wait, you can't oh. wet this. No, no, let's open it. Is it backwards? Hold on, hold on. Alright, now, there you go. Put it backwards so it could look correct. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to, but I need one. I need to hold one side so I could, you know, straighten it out so they can hook it up so they can read it. Okay. If you see anything there, just take it off. It comes right off. Be careful with this dye. I have. I don't mind. I know. I see it. I'm looking at it. Okay. So. So put it backwards so they can see the other way. Yeah. Come on. Backwards. Yeah, we're still learning how <laughs> right. we didn't win. Okay, here we go. Honey, fix that. That piece in the bottom. Pull it. Right, there you go. Hold that. I think it's upside down, right? There you go, it's okay. It looks upside down. Wait, hold on, let me turn it upside down. <laughs> okay, here you go. Here you go. Yay! You see that? <laughs> Look at that. Wait. Clean water. And, and sanitation. <laughs> okay? Sanitation. Are we happy? Yes, we are. We're happy. <laughs> so now I put it to dry. I let it dry. And um, God permitting, like I said, we'll get done. This will get done. Brody, you're going to be happy. I think she's going to set up soon. So, I'm trying to do over here number <laughs> number number 16. What, we're gonna get this together with the letters, but hopefully by next week we will. Wait, hold on, let me turn this around. Sorry. Okay. My I don't bad. know. That was my four. I moved in. This you should be. Oh my god. Is it working? Yeah. It, <laughs> If she moves something, is it so it'll be messed up or it'll get worse than what it is, or you can't use it? She, 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 I laugh because she takes a bottle of paint, she'll open it, All right, hon. and then she'll try, she'll close it and shake it, and it's still open, <laughs> still open. <laughs> yeah, but that happens. This is stuff that happens. So can you can you can you move it? So yeah, I give it to you. So I'm gonna show you what she's doing. If you don't see her face, you'll see her hands. But I'm gonna show you. I'm trying to dye another one, another strip. Okay. Hey, Rosa. And um. Negrita. Hello. <laughs> okay. So here we are again. So I'm having. I got one piece steaming. Uh, it'll be done by. Wow. 6.44 right now, uh, by 5 after. Yeah. No, no, exactly at 7.05. All right, so when that gets done, I'll pull that and I'll do the same thing again. So let me go empty my bucket, put more hot water in it. Well, he, he, says, he says, you guys, he'll do it in the sink because we were doing it in the bucket because we were trying to show you what he was doing. But uh, he's going to do it in the sink, you know. Better that way, you know, you can do it quicker. Cause it takes longer to do it in the bucket. So, now I'm trying to do now this one, this color number 16. Oh, sorry. Um, Michelle, we're looking forward to seeing your finished piece together with ours to see what it looks like. <laughs> and um, um, it's gonna be exciting to put them together. So. I can't wait to see everything come together. The headpiece looks the headpiece looks beautiful. You saw it, it looks amazing. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. It's getting it's coming along, man. And I know Lucrecia is not there anymore, but I want to tell you Lucrecia the masks look beautiful. I'm sorry that we weren't there to help you put them together. But at least we got to do the sculpture together with you and that was fun. You know that we uh we would, if you would have just said, Hey, I yeah. need your help, we would have been there a hundred and ten percent. But, um, I love the work you do. I enjoy that. I like working with my hands. And I learned so much from you, Lucrecia. And I'm still learning. With that being said, if you need the help, I'm there. Just tell me. I come. Oh, for the dresses. Talk yeah. The dresses. And, uh, the, oh, my God. The dresses. They still have to do the dresses for the, for the heads. Yeah. I don't know. Just let me know. And uh, 
we'll see what we get done. And if we have to sew or whatever, I'm there. Just let me know. Huh? Well, you want us to help us um, on, on doing the painting, the, the outfits for the mask? I don't know. You let us know. Yeah, just, yeah. If you need the painting for the mask, let us know. We get we get involved. Well, she she does the paints the mask. She just wants to yeah. help with the. Well, with as far the, as putting the, paint the dresses, yeah. Remember oh, the, the dress. Oh, yeah, the straight. Yeah, just well, they, do the dresses. dresses. Yeah. You well, think he had us doing it, remember? Well, you know where we're at. Okay, Lucrecia. Michelle's the, getting ready to sew. You can do it whenever. Get my my llama. We get the dresses getting. We get the dresses done. Okay. With that being said, I miss your classes. So, Rosa is um. Painting, doing the blue. I tell her to do the dark, the, the solid colors first, and we'll deal with the the off colors on the weekend. You know, so we can do the so the off colors because um, we have to mix them. And, they, and if it's a green, it's like if you got a yellowish orange, you have to mix it to make that color come right. Um, I don't know where she put them. Okay, like like these two, you got you got a red, and then you, you got an orange, green, okay. but it's like a reddish orange. You know, it's not a red red. It's not an orange orange. It's a reddish orange. Like so it looks like an orange on that paper, but it's not. And um, you have uh, then you got this color, right? So we have to blend the colors so it'll match. It'll be a, as closest to the color that's on here as possible. So that's what she's doing now. So she's doing the blue. Trying to get it out the way. So if we do the, 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 the basic colors, get them out the way first, then we can mix the colors, have the rest to mix the other colors. So hoping... Uh, I got I to gotta do another... See, this is the first batch that I did mixing the colors, so I got to do another batch this weekend for the other strips that we don't have done. Yeah. So, um, oh, Michelle, so we could get it done. We're going to need some more paint. We, uh, we talked about the one, brother. We're going to get back to you on that one, though. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, so we're letting you know what colors we need. We need and, uh, more the yellow, more the yellow, and also um, another resist. That's it. But we talk to her. Um, we'll talk to you. Her. Let's you know, send you a text or something. We'll get back to you. All right. So Rose is uh, doing this piece. I'm waiting for the piece in the in the steamer. I'm waiting for it to get done. Yeah, I'm for So, huh? I'm waiting for Rama from what they want to get it done. So, um, that's what I'm waiting on, right? So, getting back to this uh, ecological city, uh, I love the artwork they do here. Um, and we consist of all kind, and, and I'll say it again. We take this that people throw out, and we'll make it into something that looks beautiful. Then we get masks. We do masks with the clay that they make, we're taking everything, we make masks, paper mache, the paper mache over the mask, something that um, I used to do when I was in, in, in preschool. And I didn't, like I, it came back to me when you guys showed me, when they showed me again, I'm like, wow, it was, it's, it's so, it's so much to take, it's, it, I take it in and I absorb it, I enjoy it. And um, with the sewing, I didn't know that they do sewing in that. I'm telling you, when I first started this, I didn't know how important this was, or how big it was, you know, and what it would represent. Never in my mind. I went for, a, what was that class? The printing class, was it? Silk screen the class. The silk screen class we were taking. In Los Aires. In Los Aires. And um, I loved it. In that same spot, they told us about Garbagia. And they were doing our stuff up here. So then we came in there one day on a weekend, and everybody was putting stuff together, making stuff, and I'm like, wow, this is interesting. Um, and ecological the city also looks like it. Yes, ecological city also. With those two in mind, the work that they do is phenomenal. And the things that they are, they're trying to point out and say is things that are happening now on this world that we have to take care of ourselves because it looks like the government is turning them back. And then and they... they they look at you, they just stare at you, and they won't do what you need done. Um, so we take it out, we take this and out with our hearts, and we do the best we can to show them, hey, this is what we want, and we shouldn't do that, and you shouldn't do this, because this is what we want. Um, I, 
like I said, I love the work. I miss the classes. I miss the people, the talking with the people, mixing with the people. And um, like I said, every time it's a treat for me. Every time I come do this, I find it so, uh, so I, I get that feeling. You get that energetic feeling. It is so good, so powerful that I, I invite so many people to come, come, check it out, try it. You won't like it. You'll love it. You'll love it. That's how I feel about it. And that's why I'm still here. I'm going to be here. You guys have a long beard. I'm still going to be here. Yeah. And it's getting white too, like mine. Ah. <laughs> yeah, so she's, uh, she's almost done with that one. I'm about to go check my piece. I think you still got time. Yeah, I got about, about, yeah. Yeah, I got about, about, about five, six, seven minutes. Seven minutes. Yeah. I think, uh, no, yeah, but no, still got, still got about 10, 10 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, so, um, I found out through the silk screen class about this ecological city and Garbaja. So, when we started, we started with Garbaja and then ecological. And at Losaida Center. At Losaida Center. And we didn't, I didn't know how, you know, how, how. How big this was, and it's, it was, the thing is that it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun if more people find out about this, they should, you know, participate. It's fun. It's enjoyable, and you learn stuff. You know, you learn stuff. You see things that they get do in, in an ecological city that they do that you see stuff being done that I'm like I've I've never seen that. Uh, what's that stuff that she's working with? It's a, some kind of um, material, or it looks like a gook. <laughs> Kombucha? Kombucha, yeah. So they work, you guys are working with that, and they're making something. That's Didi. Didi's making a cocktail. There you go. And, and, and a whole bunch of other, another process. But another process. They but, could also live stream that also. And um, it, look, it looks real, it looks, I mean, it looks so interesting. But I like my sewing, and I love my art. I like, I like doing stuff. Like I said, I like, this is what I am. This is what I love. Right, besides uh, my love. I have this, and because if it wasn't for her, I would not know. You know, I would not even participate. But she opened my eyes to new different things, and like, the grace of God, thank you. And besides, without you, I don't know where I've been. You know, it's good that I'm there, and thanks for everything. I'll continue going. Oh my God! So we're gonna um. Michelle Brody is going to be um, live streaming next and um, just realize that um, this project is uh, dedication and, and Felicia Young has been, I'm not sure, I think I heard Lucrecia say 30 years and she's been doing this for 30 years. That's a long time. I didn't know it was that long. And I was looking at the video and Lucrecia said that she's been years. doing this for 30 years. That's a long time. That's a dedication. So I think that um, we need to give a, a, a round of applause to Felicia Young for this dedication that she's doing because um, I remember when I was going to school and being a little child and they were saying about save the planet, save the planet, and I'm sorry, but I, I don't want to say the age, but it was 50 something years ago and um, uh, they we they would talk about saving the planet and then we thought oh we, why should we save the planet because the planet is always going to be there but everything that we that we we misuse in this planet and everything that we don't put back in the planet and 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 the stuff that we put in our bodies also junk food that we eat don't take we're supposed to be eating whole yeah, foods and oh, stuff oh. that's from the ground that 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 yeah. God brought to this to this oh, earth sweet. um. We and sometimes we eat more junk than we're supposed to and we ruin our body that's supposed to be a temple. And putting food that's organic food, fresh coming out of the ground and eating these fresh foods will keep our being healthier, stronger. And also recycling and budgeting foods. Not for nothing, but right now I learned um, pantry stuff that I had in my cupboard. I've been using beans and stuff. I've been recycling the stuff that I had there that people had given to me that now I see as a blessing. And taking the little bit that you have and extending and sharing with other people is what this program is all about. It's, it's telling us that 
um, recycling what we have and taking care of our bodies and eating whole foods and um, um, making sure that that we give back to the planet, not take away from it. Because when we give pollution in the in the planet, we're gonna deteriorate the planet when we have no place to go. Where are we gonna go? To live in Mars? We're gonna come back to a piece I of rock. Think so. Um, so, yeah, so we gotta protect the little bit we have. Yes. And the planet right now is cleaning, even though we're getting all these viruses that are coming back and attacking a lot of people, but maybe the planet needed a little rest from all the stress and all the pollution from the planes and all the all the stuff that cars that everybody uses and all that pollution that's coming out of the cars is toxic to our lungs, our health, and also to the plants and everything that's trying to grow in the land. And so um, with that being said, thank you everybody for being with us today and sharing this time with us. And um, I know it's a little bit repetitious and you probably say, oh, we have to see them doing the same thing over again. But um, thank you for sharing and being with us here. And thank you, Fe um, Pedro. Yeah. And his brother that was here uh, with us um, also. So we, got, we, got like, we got like two more minutes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the pot. I'm going to get the, the piece I'm steaming. It's, it's already done. So I'm just going to bring it out and show it to you as we go off the air. Be back. Is that the 20 minutes? Yeah, it, it, yes. I take 20 minutes is more at 6 o'clock. Okay. Okay, so yes. So, five or six. I think he took it out. He is our second. Show them the yellow. Yeah. This so, is another one that we've done. He just steamed the, the another one. I just steamed this one. The yellow. So. And now I take it out. Wow. Everybody needs more time. No, 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 it's good. See that? <laughs> it's good. See that? Oh, yeah. Very good. Okay. See that? Look, look, look. Oh, yeah. It's just yeah. sold me too. So, I'm taking it apart now. So, now I'm going to wash it. Do the same thing. Soak it in warm water. Like, like more hot than warm. So that, um... All the darkness will come off. So this is what the it looks resist, like. The resist, the, re resist. It's, uh, the resist will come right off. So this is what it looks like now. When I get through with it, it'll look like the blue one I just did. Okay? So with that being said, thank you for, for showing showing up. Thank you for watching. Rosa and I will be back here next Wednesday. Six to seven. Six to six seven. To seven. See you next week, Wednesday. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye, guys. Um, we'll see you next, Michelle. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you, Michelle. Lucrecia, everybody. Lucrecia, everybody. Bye-bye. Till next time.